Oh no, I need to focus you. Sit back with him. Cool, let's go. Let's go. Cool, let's go. Let's go. Hey, what is what is it doing, babe? Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is Pure Kicks. Back with another comparison video, and today we're comparing the Kyrie Four versus the Dame Four. Let's get it. Damon Lillard and Kyrie Irving, two of the most electrifying point guards in the NBA. I think this is Adidas's best shoe for guards, and I think the Kyrie Four is Nike's best shoe for guards. We want to see how they do head to head. So getting straight into it, starting with the traction in the Kyrie Four, as you already know that. Staircase modified herringbone traction. Oh, okay. Damn it. Wrong! So getting straight into it, starting out with the traction. On the Kyrie 4, we've got that Staircase Tetris modified herringbone, which again, does the trick as it always has. Right out of the box, really, really strong. No exception to the whole Kyrie line as it is. Over here on the Dame 4, what we have is the Shark Girls traction pattern with the slits in between the grooves. This is a traction pattern that was really, really good, especially once it broke in. It bit the floor very nicely. So yeah, I was very, very pleased with the traction on the Dame Force. Now, which traction was better? This is a close one. This is a close one. I think they both had really, really good traction. This is gonna come from you though, because you're the only one who's played in both. Now, I know this traction is peng, yep. always has been. Talk to them though. If we're honest, what do you say? I think the thing that sets both tractions apart is the way the traction pattern on the Kyrie protrudes all the way out on the midsole. Yeah, I thought you were gonna say that. I think that's what will give it to the Kyrie, but the traction on both shoes is really, really good. You're not gonna lose out on any traction if you get the Dame 4s. No. But the traction on both shoes is amazing, but I'm gonna give the cake to the Kyrie 4. I hear that, 100%. Moving on up to the midsole cushion of the Dame 4, what we have is bounce. Bounce is amazing. It feels incredibly bouncy. Pun intended. Bars. It's a low to the ground cushion setup, which is very minimal, provides great responsiveness and very good impact protection as well. So this is a great cushion setup for guards. Cushion in the Dame 4 is fantastic. So over here in the Kyrie 4, what we've got is a full length cushion system with a zoom bag in the heel. Now, when we talk about bounce in the Adidas shoe and cushion in the Nike shoe, both of those midsole foams are like the secondary option of the whole line, if that makes sense. 100%. In Nike, we've got Lunalon, Kushlon, Phylon. And I know over in Adidas, we've got Boost, Bounce, and Phylon, I guess. And EVA. EVA. Yeah. So it's it's funny to have them both sitting in that same kind of category. So I guess the only thing setting apart is the zoom bag and the heel rope over here, really. The Dame 4 has a lot more impact protection, mm. I think, than the Carry 4. Playing them both, I might have to give it to the Dame 4 because the I bounce was fantastic. And it took me by surprise, but I didn't think it was gonna be that good. Even though you have both cushion and zoom, I still think bounce will take it with this one. I agree, I mean, I have tried this shoe one and I know exactly what you're saying in terms of even straight out the box, putting your foot in. So yeah, I'm, I'm agree with that, for sure. Moving on to the fitting materials of the Dame 4. All we have is this textile mesh upper with these TPU yarns underneath the mesh and it moves into this really nice neoprene ankle collar which felt amazing. One of the best things about the Dame 4 was the fit and the materials of the shoe. It breaks in fantastically well and the neoprene ankle collar is padded nicely and it's very, very comfortable. So over here in the Kyrie 4, in the 4-4 we've got the engineered mesh backed by nylon and in the Ankle containment area, we've got that synthetic suede as a highly durable area to hold the ankle really well. Now, back by nylon, it ensures that durability, but also keeps the shoe very light and makes it very flexible as well. So when we're talking about the fitting materials of both shoes, I just think the Dame 4 fitted my foot a lot better than the Carry 4s, yeah. especially out the box. Just the one-to-one -one fit of the, of the Dame 4 was a lot better, I think, than the Carry 4. Not saying that the fit materials in the Carry 4 are bad, I just think the Dame 4 was a lot better. I can definitely agree again, going back again, I said I haven't played in them, but I have tried them on, and that one-piece slip-on fit, that sock-like fit, is but very, very buff. It's like a very, glove. very buff. Like a glove, 100% like a glove. Carry 4 still does really well, fits really nicely but just definitely doesn't hold a candle to the Dame 4. Now moving on to the support of the Dame 4, what we have is this internal heel counter, outrig of the shoe, and then these dynamic cables which help lock your foot down and prevent any slippage in the shoe. The triple threat support system in the Dame 4 was very good, especially partnered with the fit of the shoe, felt really nice, your foot was contained, and yeah, it's one of those shoes that you put on and you don't have to worry too much about your ankle slipping or your ankle rolling. The support in the shoe was very, very good. In the Kyrie 4, we've got four aspects that help with support. 
We've got the four foot fly wire, the usual suspect outrigger, the synthetic materials for the ankle containment and the internal hill counter. Now this system was actually so good that they moved it from the three straight into the four. So yeah, it got the job done so well. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Ooh, bars, but look. So with that being said, looking at the support of both shoes, I'm gonna have to give the support to the Carry 4. The Carry 4 support was just a little bit better, protected my foot a little bit more than the Dame 4. So yeah, the Carry 4 gets it with this one. I think that even just comes from that internal heel counter. It is a really, really good heel counter. That yeah. different material at the back holds the foot really well, when, especially when we're just talking this ankle area really really well now i completely agree so last but definitely not least as we always say maybe the most important aesthetics of the shoe in the Kyrie 4 we've seen a few colorways because obviously it's just got here but it's clean bro yeah well, what Kyrie, do you want from me Kyrie 4 is clean it's clean this isn't the best representation of how good the dame 4 looks and look yeah it's not the best looking shoe this isn't the best colorway but in terms of aesthetics i'm gonna have to give it to the to the carry 4 it's just a lot better looking i wasn't a fan of the dame 4s when i first bought them they've grown on me i'm still not a fan to be honest with you I'm still not a fan of how this shoe looks honest with you, I'm not gonna lie. So all right guys, looking at the score, it's 3-2 to the Kyrie 4, which comes out on top once again. I mean, Adidas and Nike have both provided us with some really, really great on-court performers. But yeah, the Kyrie 4 takes a cake with this one. The Dame 4 isn't a terrible shoe it's at close, all. It's close Far from it, it's a, it's a close battle. But you're not worse off buying the Dame 4 if you were to choose it ahead of the carry 4, it is still a very, very good on-court performer. So all right guys, as always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you press that thumbs up button and comment down below which shoe you think should have come out on top. And if you agreed with us, and if you picked up both pairs and you've tried them both out, which shoe did you prefer? And as always, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Instagram is at purekicks.ig and Twitter is at purekicks underscore TW. So all right guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That's it from us. This is the Kyrie 4. This is the Dame 4. This is Pure Kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.